You know, a lot of people have actually asked me about this thing, about this wheel. And they asked me, where did I get it? It was actually from a youth service that I helped decorate. They were gonna throw it away after the event. So I said, nah, like, let me take it home. Nah, I wanna take it home. I brought it home and I just hung it up on the wall. I think it looks really cool right there. But this day, we're gonna talk about something that we all want to know. Because this year has made us look for more side hustles and more stuff that we can do together. But guys, which one is the best? So why don't we start a versus series here on the channel? Let's go. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Scarcity Lifestyle, where we're to all things fitness, finance, and side hustles. So today, because I've noticed that on the channel, a lot of people have a lot of questions on other stuff that they can do. I want to talk about today, what is the best thing that you can do? We're talking about none other than Instacart versus Lyft. But before we get started in today's video, I do hope that you guys subscribe to this channel if you guys haven't already. Leave a like on this video if you enjoyed, as well as I recently started a Patreon account that if anybody wants to help support, you guys can go ahead, link is in the description down below. For the price of a cup of coffee a month, you'll be able to help me out and help this channel grow. Guys, thank you for all your support. With that, let's get right into this video. And in this channel's very first verses, I do wanna talk about Lyft versus Instacart. Two side hustles that I've talked a lot about on this channel and two side hustles that I think everybody should at least try at one point or another. But the question does come in, which one is the better one? So what I've done today is I've separated into three rounds that is gonna talk about which one wins and which one is better in these three areas. First area is gonna be in the accessibility slash flexibility of the side hustle. Round number two is gonna be which one pays better. And number three is gonna be which one has more expenses or who betters in the area of expenses. Typically, it's whoever has less. So guys, let's get right into this. Round number one, Lyft versus Instacart, which is the better side hustle to do on your own time and is the most flexible. Let's start at the both requirements. First, for both of these, you do need to be 18 years old in order to approve for it. As well as for both of these, you do need to have a good background check. However, after that, there's just not a lot of similarities. Now, the thing is, now here comes the differences. In order to get started for Lyft, you do need to have a vehicle and you need to have it approved by the company. So you go to a place like Pep Boys and then there they'll be able to revise your car and make sure that it's in working condition to be able to transport people back and forth. While in Instacart hand, you don't need a vehicle in order to do it. Obviously, it does make it a lot easier, but you do not need it to do it. Just like for Postmates, you don't need a car. If you have a bike, you can go ahead and do that. The same thing kind of goes for Instacart. If you want to walk around, well, you can do that. It's going to take a lot longer, but you can do that. The only thing that needs to get approved for Instacart is you yourself and that you are able to do it and are above age. So then let's talk about flexibility. With Lyft, in order to become active, you just have to hit that you're, that you're online. So on the top part, you just press I'm online and then there you just wait until uh, Lyft, until the app comes and tells you someone is looking for a ride, then you're gonna go ahead and be able to pick them up, take them to their destination and everything. Typically, you're just there sitting, you can do that whenever you want and then you're gonna go. While on the other hand, Instacart, you don't even have to press that you're online. It just gonna, the app is just gonna automatically notify you that these are the batches that are available and if you would like to take them. Here's the problem with these two. The first one with this Lyft, you can't reject too many of the rides. The thing that Instacart wins in is that you can go ahead and pick and choose which batches you want, while in Lyft, you're not really able to. You get notified that somebody wants to get a ride and then you're gonna be like, do I want to take them? Yes or no. It'll tell you the distance, it'll tell you the pay, but you'll have to debate on your own whether or not you'll be able to get that. So you're gonna be like, eh. If you reject too many, the app is gonna automatically not picking you to give rights. You will get rights, but just not as many if you reject too many. So that's something to keep into consideration. While uh, for Instacart, you can just pick and choose which one you want. 
It's also in, in the flexibility. You do have a lot more options for the Instacar than you do for the Lyft. And let's talk about how long you can do each one of these for, because each one of them, you can only do it for a certain amount of times. Because Instacar, for example, they start doing the deliveries from that from like 8 to 9 a.m. And then they finish probably the latest. The latest of any stores probably gonna be open is midnight. Then after that, you, you won't be able to find anything else. Typically, once you get to like 8, 9 p.m., uh, you start getting far less orders and whoever is still active, they'll be fast to get it. So at that point, you don't even want to keep doing it. But Lyft side, you can go and you can drive anytime during the day and you can drive anytime during the night. The only problem is that you can only drive for 12 hours straight and then Lyft will automatically require you to take a stop and go and sleep or do something for six hours uninterrupted before you can start driving again. With that area being said, Lyft does you know, have more of a, an ability to gain more. So in this area of accessibility and flexibility, it does seem that like they're kind of evenly matched. They each have their own problems, but I will have to edge this out to Instacart because you are able to start a lot faster than you are for Lyft because with Lyft, you got to get your vehicle approved. You got to go get it inspected. You got to make sure your license is up to date. And if you want to do it with Instacart, see, here's the thing. You don't have to have a vehicle. And as a matter of fact, you don't have to have a vehicle registered to your account meaning that you can just go ahead and start getting whichever vehicle that maybe your parents or maybe someone that you love or your spouse has and you just decide to take that car instead of the one that you normally drive and you can do that while in lifts you can take other cars but you have to do the same process get it all pre-approved and then be able to go and take it before you're able to drive so there's that restriction within lift so in accessibility and in flexibility Instacart does win in that area. So round number one goes to Instacart. Now let's talk about pay. When you're getting talking about pay, that's typically the driving factor for a lot of people. I mean, be doing flexibility and all that stuff. Okay, that's cool. But let's talk about how much money I'm gonna get, right? If you're telling me that Instacart, I can only do it for like eight hours, while Lyft, I can do it for 12 hours, take a six hour break, and then go right back at it again, you'd think you make more money. First thing that Lyft does do better than Instacart is that Lyft does have a lot more promotions than Instacart. In the times that I've done both of them, I got a lot more more promotions from Lyft than I have from Instacart. So when you're talking about throughout a week, if you do a certain amount of rides, you're going to get extra money. You're going to be more bonuses. While in Instacart, that's not really going to be presented to you. While talking about tips, in Lyft, the person, they get their ride and then after they're done, Lyft will ask them, would you like to tip your driver? So then a lot of people sometimes do, but not everybody does it. On the contrary, Instacart, they ask you to leave a tip before placing in your order. So it's a, and it's a guarantee tip because everybody has to leave a tip of at least $5. They go and they place the order and you've already gotten your tip. So when you're selecting which batch, it tells you the order and the cost and plus the tip. So you already see it combined together by, by the time you've already accepted it. Now, although you do work more hours, you, you're able to work more hours for Lyft than in Instacart, you are able to make far more money in Instacart than you are in Lyft. Because the way the Lyft calculates it is because Lyft calculates it be from time and distance. So the amount of time that it takes you to drop the person off and the distance that it is, it's pretty restricted. So if you want to drop some, if you want to make more money from each ride, you got to drop someone off even further away. I drove from the San Fernando Valley all the way to Marina del Rey at one point, which took about 45 minutes or 45 minutes to an hour. It was about $45 that I earned from that ride, which is like enough to cover the gas and then some if I was to not have a full tank, which is good. However, it's meh, it's, it's, it's pretty meh. So in talking about both of the areas that you can make money in this, you will be making more money from Instacart. That is for sure, because say for example, you only get to work eight hours, right? You a full, a full shift. But in those eight hours, you accept 40 to $60 batches, you'll be able to get a lot more money. You're looking to get anywhere between $150 to over $200 in a single day if you're able to carry out 
those things it's pretty crazy the amount of money you're able to make with instacart by yourself if you put the time in because a lot of people are always ordering groceries there's a saying that within the fast food industry you'll always find jobs because people are always eating and people are always coming in and out within instacart we're working with food and you're working with shopping stuff that people enjoy doing so it's always going to be something coming in and going out so you are able to make a lot more money with instacart but let's also talk about the payout the cool thing about the payouts in both of these aspects is they have each a unique aspect to it for example lyft what they're able to do is that if you want to get your money beforehand they're able to send you a card in that card you're able to have the funds already available by the time that you've completed the ride and then you'll be able to use that card as if it was your actual credit card or if you want to wait to have it in your actual account then what you can do is it's it's on a weekly basis every tuesday like around 5 a.m if i'm not mistaken they go ahead and deposit the money into your account while as for instacart it's weekly as well but you can cash out anytime throughout the week to your own account and it's pretty much instant instantaneously and it's as long as you have over five dollars into your account then you're able to do it or it does it every monday which you'll probably end up seeing it on the tuesday uh reflected in your in your statement so depends which one do you prefer more do you prefer to actually be able to have a physical card that you're able to use almost immediately or do you like to have the option to cash out whenever you want I believe that for me, I'd rather have the option to cash out whenever I'd like, depending on how much money I have in there. Sure, that's fine, rather than having to worry about another card. So for me, even in this round, it seems like round number two does go to Instacart. Now let's talk about expenses. Now there's the obvious that you're gonna have to do. There's gas, there is car maintenance, there's food for both of them. However, the stuff that um, it does come down to is that for Instacart, the expenses typically end there because uh, everything else is just like given to you. So for example, the green bags or for example, the card, all of that comes free for you. But for Lyft, if you want to make sure that your customers are happy or the, the riders are happy, what do you do? You go out, you buy a pack of gum, you buy some water, you buy some snacks and you have your car stocked up. So you're constantly stocking up. That's going to help them feel better. So, for example, we're going to talk about car chargers. You're going to want to get car chargers, for example, some Febreze, for example, car washes. All of those stuff are very important when you're a Lyft driver. So when you're a, an Instacart shopper, you're not really worried about that. You're not really worried about making sure that my car is clean because no one's really going to see your car or no one's going to be inside of your car. That's not something that you're worried about. But it is something you're worried about if you're doing a Lyft. Truthfully, like, I mean, even the way that you're dressed, I mean, like the people who are doing Instacart right now know that you don't even really see the, the customer. You sometimes just leave the food right there, knock, go to your car, maybe you'll see them come out or you'll take a picture and then you'll go off. But for Lyft, you, the people see you. Imagine if your hair's all nasty. Imagine if you're looking kind of dirty. Imagine if you smell. <laughs> There's just a lot of more stuff that you have to worry about working in direct uh, or working in close contact with the person that you're giving a ride to. So in expenses, unfortunately, it does seem like Lyft wins this. It looks like they're spending a lot more money in order to do their job. Now, it does seem like the winner for today undisputably is Instacart. And maybe you might be saying, but it's not fair because they're not really the same thing. Well, guess what? They're side hustles and we're comparing them. So guys, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you didn't agree with me, don't tell me in the description below. We won't know. All right, guys, with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. You Take care. You want to ride on my wave just because it's fun. You want to be in my space too close to the sun. Don't seem to care if it's safe. Well, that makes two of us. I'm so insane, so insane, and you like it. But you haven't seen anything yet. Now you're just beginning your trip to regrets. You might think you know me, but soon you forget. I'm too insane, too insane, and you know.